Hello, everybody. It's good to be with you. So uh, I have a really, this is a big video. This is a, this is a big time video in the sense that this can really, this, this can solve your issue. And it can solve it here and now until it doesn't. And I'll leave you to see if you, if, if, if this discovery, if it happens here and now, is worth following up on or not. Uh, strangely, most people are absolutely blown away by what they find in awakening because it can't be figured out ahead of time. It just can't be. You can't even get really close ahead of time. Uh, you can think you're close, and you know, and it can be seen that, oh, they were very close. But really, if you're close, you're not awakened. So close really doesn't count, right? And it counts in what? Hand grenades, close counts. Non-duality close just doesn't count. You, it, it, there's only on the money. And most of what is being taught and learned or mimicked today is your fundamental misunderstanding. Because it's their fundamental misunderstanding too. It's been everyone's fundamental misunderstanding except for exceptions along the way. There's certainly been exceptions. And there may and there been, you know, been quite a few. You know, we could we we could uh fill up a couple of stadiums with them or something probably. But uh compared to the number of seekers who have come through, I mean, how many seekers have there been in the last two thousand years? Right? I mean, it's a little more common today, I think, than it was uh, years ago, but maybe not. You know, I mean, they were, they were when the, they had uh, those times, they were, you know, well, they lived together in the desert or the mountains or stuff, and there was a bunch of people there. But when I say a bunch of people, what was it? Was it eight? Or was it 20? Hell, give, it a, give, give them credit for 50. Well, whatever it is, whatever that number is, you multiply times 2,000. And because this year's crop is not going to be the same as last year's crop. I mean, it is mostly going to be the same as last year's crop. Only this year's crop will be larger than last year's crop. Because the fundamental misunderstanding is growing in our community. It is not being seen through. We discuss it as if it's been seen through. But I can promise you, sitting from in my chair, I can see that it has not been. It is often presented to me as if it is the real thing. And then I have to break somebody's heart. And it's just not any fun. It really is not. I don't like telling people the truth when it doesn't agree with what they thought the truth was. And it never does. It just never does. <laughs> the... The fundamental misunderstanding is that you do not understand who it is that wakes up and how that happens. I do. Very simply. When I say I do, this is awakeness. Your awakeness. There's only awakeness here. This is awakeness talking to awakeness about awakeness. But for the moment, there is an illusion of a so-called teacher and the illusion of a so-called seeker and uh, we are coming together in order to discuss, to talk about that which cannot be talked about. Hence the fundamental misunderstanding. Because what we're doing is we're trying to take what we just, we talk about it all the time. Well, the truth is non-conceptual. That's what I want is a non-conceptual truth. Well, how do you want to get it? Well, the only way I can think of to get it is conceptually. <laughs> And that doesn't work. And we just, we just complete, we just go over it and over it and over it again and again and again um, as if it is going to work. And sometimes we think it worked. And sometimes there may have been some truth that showed up. And sometimes there is a, a genuine awakening. I meet people like that who've had genuine awakenings. And some I've never met a non-dual teacher till they talk to me. And uh, they can see that they didn't need to talk to me, but they're glad that they have, as a typically. And when I say they don't need to, it's just 
everything happens as it does. So somebody, you know, is there somebody out there who wakes up and doesn't have a teacher? Well, I, I woke up and I didn't have a teacher. I had books, but I didn't have a teacher. You know, I think I, at the time I woke up, I was probably calling um, Ajashanti or Nizagradatta my teacher. But see, they didn't know that. <laughs> if the teacher doesn't know about it, it's hard to call them your teacher. You can call them your inspiration. I mean, really, you can tell, call them your teacher if you want, but you just don't want to believe that when you say that. Because in truth, you don't have a teacher and you don't need a teacher. You don't. But see, you won't believe that. That's the problem of whiteness, is that you are confused and you are so confused that you are looking for a solution to a problem that is right behind your eyes. And includes your eyes, actually. And the problem is that you believe that you are one of these. Just one. You believe you are just one of these things. And we tell you that you're not, and 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 we write that you're not, and we preach that you're not. We do video after video of telling you that you're not. But the fundamental under misunderstanding is just not that easy to crack if it was. But, it, you know, it is not that easy to crack because it doesn't there, there, there. It doesn't need to be cracked. It just needs the, it just the solution, so to speak, just needs to be noticed. You just notice it. You quit seeking and you notice. When we talk about the seeker doesn't wake up, that's because it's a seeker. And seekers don't wake up. Seekers hunt for the truth. Once it, the truth is by happenstance, really, as much as, well, but it's a part of the path, sort of. Sort of. Uh, don't, don't get discouraged on me, because, because this is actually so much easier than you, than you think. That's one of the problems, is that, you know, and it used to really make me mad when they would say, this thing is obvious and everything, and I would think, it's not obvious to me, and therein lies the fundamental misunderstanding. It's not obvious to me, said Fred. And Fred wanted to wake up. And Fred also assumed that he was this body. That's the other fundamental misunderstanding. Fred believed he was this body and therefore was waiting for this body to wake up. Would you just go about it, please? Would you just get on with it? Or, you know, or we think it's just, just the mind, maybe not the whole body, maybe that there's not anything contained here, but that there's something in the mind. But you, 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 you can find a brain, but I don't think you can actually find a mind. What you find, when we go looking for mind, what we find is thought. And we find bunches of thought. And we call those bunches of thought mind. But there's nothing in the middle of that. It's just a term that we use so that we can approach these things. But it's not actually an answer. And it's certainly not your, and it's certainly not what you're looking for. I can promise you that. If you, this thing happens. But I notice, you know, that uh, it, it may be luck, as I sometimes will say, oh, it is good luck. But, you know, uh, a great man once said that uh, luck is when preparedness meets opportunity. And that's my understanding of luck, too. The reason I don't say, you know, don't use blessed, or you're blessed instead of luck, is that luck can happen to anybody, but being blessed, that may be left only for saints. Well, if it had been left only for saints to wake up, there wouldn't have been many awakenings because actually saints are not automatically awakened beings. They are very, very good beings. 
and they are very, very helpful beings and all of that, but they're not necessarily awake. So the so-called saints are not necessarily awake, and those who are awake are, you can pretty well bet they're not going to be saints. They're going to be folks like me, like you. So hence, I like to say, stay away from the grace. It's not that it's not true, but it's just that it's, once again, it's just misunderstood. It's the languaging. It's the languaging. That's what throws us. Because this non-conceptual thing is passed along via what is conceptual. And the, 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 uh, but the living method doesn't work that way. It does talk a lot. <laughs> it uses a lot of language. But ultimately, that's not the living method. That's just one tool of the living method. And the real tool of the living method is using language in a different way. The, the living method is really inquiry. So it is inquiry. But it would be very, very helpful if we could understand before we get started. Whose inquiry is it? See, when I was, I, I thought Fred was in deep inquiry. I thought, you know, well, I've really studied inquiry and everything, and that's what I do. I do, I do inquiry, and it's just not working. <laughs> that's what the feeling was. But that's because I believed I was a Fred, and I'm not. I am a whiteness. So are you. You are formless. Listen to me, please. You are formless the thing that's the ears that are listening to the thing that's the, to this that's form but it's not really the ears are just hearing the sounds the interpreting of what's being said here or misinterpretation of what's being done here that's that's neither it's not mind but we can call it mind and we will. We'll call it mind, but I just want you to understand that what there really is is not mind, but it's bunches of thought. But, you know, mind is just easier to say than whole bunches of thought, you know, that are randomly connected or somehow connected and this, that, the other. Even that will get that that will get like boring, if nothing else. And there's nothing about non-duality that's actually boring. People think, oh, God, this is boring but that's because they think they are somebody and that this somebody is on a path and that the path is not going as it should. It's not going as quickly as it should. It's not going as clearly as it should. Compared to what? Compared to imagination. Isn't that right? When someone tells me, Fred, I, I, should, I, just, I just know I should be clearer than this. And, and, and the most common words I hear in the clearing process is that I should be clearer than this. I know. And uh, all I can do is stick with the evidence and notice that they are not. That they are exactly as clear as they are and there is no should. So it's everything is going at the speed that it should be going. Everything is going exactly like it should be going because it's not a matter of everything is happening the way it should. There is no should. There's no should. There's no shouldn't. Everything is happening the way that it must. That's a real big difference. The way that it must. See, that's not giving it kudos. And it's not running it down. It's not running the experiencing down. And it's not giving the experiencing kudos. It's just saying everything is happening. It's not even saying that I am in, involved at all. And you better not be because there is no I. If you think you are involved in non-duality, you are way off base. You are not involved in non-duality. You are non-duality itself. You are the non-dual being that you're looking for. We hear about being and we wonder, well, being where? Being what? What does he mean, this being? I 
I mean, this being. And I mean, this being in the sense of this unit cannot be said to be other than a whiteness. But we can no <laughs> notice right quickly that it does not equal a whiteness. There's nothing here. There's just oneness. There's nothing independent anywhere. I know it feels like that. It looks like that. I share your, you know, I feel sorry for your, I feel for your confusion because I went through it too. You know, but I didn't spend long there. I just spent 24 years there. People have spent much, much longer. I've talked to them. But 24 years is not any thing to brag about. It doesn't mean that I was a, a quick study. It means that I was the usual um, sort of oath that <laughs> falls into, that takes some kind of wrong turn somewhere and falls into the non-dual path and then finds itself quickly in the tiger's mouth. And those teeth are pointed backwards and you just can't get out. You're in the tiger's mouth. And so the only thing that you can do is move forward, even if you can't move forward. You have to try to move forward, even if you can't. Because you must do what you must do. And if there's a drive there to seek, there's no calling that off. If there isn't a drive there, and it's just like a curiosity or something, that's fine. But most people that I know that will say, this is just a curiosity upon conversation will quickly come to see. Well, and no, 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 I, I need to know this. It's not, it's not a curiosity. It's a need, but it's not your need. You, you don't have any needs. It's only experienced as your need when you believe yourself to be one of these. And uh, I don't want to say that a whiteness is a slow study, but I don't want anything, but I will notice that there are billions of unawakened beings on this planet. They're still beings. In other words, they're still happenings. Beings is a verb. You notice that? We think of it as being a noun. Oh, he's an awakened being. And we want to consider that to be finite and make it a verb, I mean, a noun out of it. He is uh, a being, a static thing, a, a, an independent thing, or even a changing thing. But there's no thing. Doesn't mean that you are truly nothing, but it does mean that you are not something. So the... It's closer to the truth to say that you are no thing because you are not an object. You are, you are not a physicality. You are the unborn. What's talking to you, awakeness, right now is the unborn. It's that that existed prior to this body. It existed prior to the consciousness that is the herald of this body. But nothing happens until, or nothing is, it, no, nothing is seen. There is nothing until there is consciousness. But there's only consciousness when there is a unit or consciousness to work through. So the trees that you see outside, they are they are waking, they are they are they are unconscious beings. And I don't even know that they're unconscious particularly. You know, that's just my that's just my um, um that's my slander. Uh, because it may be the trees are much more conscious than we are. I notice they're not uh that you know they're having troubles that we create for them, but I don't notice trees creating all that many problems for themselves. You know, it's not the, the the trees are not polluting. The trees are not warming the earth. The trees are not having wars that we can see, that we know of. So your problem as it was mine, 
is believing that you are one of these. And once you believe and that you are the character, see, well, you can get, come to see, oh, there's a character that actually inhabits this. And it's the character that inhabits this that's the real McCoy. And that's not true. Because there's no character either. We use these words because we are we are hobbled with them. We, we, we use what we must. But it doesn't make the words that we use true. And it does not make them reliable. This is going to be a five of video. I guess that um, Louise is going to have to chop this thing up. Oh, are you finished? <laughs> no, 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 I'm talking to myself on the video, baby. You're in the video now. <laughs> Don't worry about. It. See, it couldn't. That couldn't have not happened. Everybody always loves hearing from Betsy, so that's yours for the day. You you got to hear from Betsy. So what I was saying was that this video is going to last apparently forever. And Louise is probably going to have to chop this up into two or three videos. Well, you know, what I notice is when the, one of these things is released as two or three videos, that the first video gets more views than the second. And the second usually gets more than the third. See, we just give up. We're really not that interested in living as a whiteness. We're, most of us are not at all interested in living as a whiteness, but many of us would like to live in a whiteness. We would like to live in peace, but we can only live as peace because there's nothing separate here to live in a separate peace. Famous book called A Separate Peace. John Knowles or something. He's, I was a bookseller for a long time, so I have factoids that creep up. So, you've got to understand, only if you want to wake up. I mean, I don't want to put you under any pressure. So, only if you want to wake up. More than you want to stay in uh, confusion. Because confusion is pretty comforting. And this thing can get very rigorous, this coming to see the truth. And it, it can be very disappointing for the so-called character, that, but it doesn't exist. So what do we care? We care because we think that we somehow are involved in this, but we're not. We're not involved in this. We are this. We can say that we we can say, but it's not accurate. But we will nonetheless say we can say that all of this is happening inside of you. But what does that mean when there's no outside to you, and there's no outside or inside to one? Let's look right now. Can you find an, an end to this? And what am I even talking about? I'm talking about consciousness. The 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 the, the, the universe. Can you find an end to even the universe? No. And consciousness is, is, is more even than that. We can say that you know, the universe is consciousness expressed, but they tell me that there's lots and lots and lots of universes. But see, I'm just one pinhead, even uh, I'm a pinhead on a pinhead, on a pinhead, on another pinhead within this galaxy much less within this universe but I still think I'm the most important thing in it isn't that what we believe I don't believe that any longer although I do know actually that I am the most important thing in it but there's really no there are no gradations like that there's no ascension and descension up and up and down the pyramid the there's no pyramid with the wise guy up top and us down at the bottom struggling along 
That's what we've always felt like. That's what we've always believed. And it's just not true. You're downselling yourself so much. Listen up. You, awakeness, are divinity itself. And when you're out looking for the divine, guess what's looking for the divine? Divinity. So do you think that divinity can find the divine out there? No. There's no out there out there anyway. There's just oneness. But that's what we think is I'm the divine and I'm, and I'm a servant of the divine. And I, I say that too. And it's, and it's skillful. It's just not true. I'm not as, I, if we wanted to, to say that there was a Fred, then within this play, Fredness is a servant of awakeness or a servant of divinity. But Fredness is an illusion and the whole Fred world is an illusion. And, you, and, 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 and if you think you're in the Fred world, that's an illusion, but you don't think you're in the Fred world. You think Fred is in your world. You think Fred is in the Ben world or the Susan world. Because you feel like you're right at the center of everything. Look at, look at how see your senses work. I mean, it, it's, it's like they tell you all about what? About what's immediately outside of you. That sound, that movement over there. But that movement is just another form of energy and that energy is you and you are that energy and there's but there's no but it's formless uh energy is you know what do they say that uh energy squared equals matter or whatever i don't understand all that i don't have a really scientific mind i'm a i'm a wannabe and i use science facts and factoids and stuff like that just because i can and that they're about as true as anything else at the end of the day. Some of them, most of them are not true at all, but, but they're practical. So we can believe in it. We can believe in science and use science, but better that we use science and don't believe in it. Don't believe that there's something else here. What's here is you. And let's just double check right now. When are you here? Right now, isn't it? Aren't you the one hearing this voice right now? You're also, also the one that is giving the voice, if you will. It's coming through this unit. But this unit is what it's just it's just really it's just an uh, uh it's an appearance within consciousness and sometimes i get on people and ask them you know how much does appearance weigh <laughs> it doesn't weigh anything because it's an idea and that's what's wrong with you you're trapped by your ideas and you think that you you haven't had an awakening experience this is the awakened experience. It's just not noticed by you. You're waiting for something else to happen and there's nothing else but you. So it's going to be a long wait. Pack a lunch. And when I talk about this, I mean this very this. I mean this mundane this. Because this mundane this is actually the divine. This mundane this, this, quote, mundane this, is an expression of the divine. It, this, is, this, is an, this is oneness as expressed by what is actually noneness. Uh, we could term it just, that's confusing too. We better cannot call it anything, but I'm going to call it oneness. And this oneness that's experiencing itself and believing itself to be a separate human being over here, very confused about what Fred's talking about. Don't worry about what Fred's talking about. He's not talking to you. Fred's talking to itself. Fredness. Awakeness is talking to awakeness. And what do you think we're talking about? 
We're talking about awakeness, aren't they? Aren't we? Because there's nothing ever, no, nothing else to talk. We'll use one, awakeness under oneness interchangeably for just a minute. It's not really true, but um, it's more or less true. Less, actually, but it'll pass for now. So oneness keeps ex expecting a, a separate entity to wake up. And that one and oneness believes it is that separate entity. And it can't wait till it wakes up. It's going to be really special then. And because you and and oneness through that body has read wonderful books about wonderful experiences that so-called independent beings had. Well, that's not true. It's awakeness having all those experiences. And it may know it or it may not, but it's still awakeness that this is this is experiencing. We could call this the, the world of experiencing, but we could be better to call it the stage of experiencing or the state of experiencing. There's just this experiencing. And it's not really any of those words, but we just use them because we're trying to grasp hold just enough here. So that you, awakeness, can come to see the truth through that body, just like you have through this one. And just like you have through hundreds of others that have sat with this one. Probably a couple of thousand. I don't know. Awakeness doesn't keep count, but Fredness tries to. I mean, it doesn't really, doesn't really count. It's just guesses. But it's always just been a whiteness that has had the awakening to what? To itself. Why is awakening awakening to itself? Well, number one, because it is the only thing that awakeness can awaken to is itself. And the truth is, is that awakeness in general is unconscious. And it populates our world. It's unconscious. It does not know that it is divinity. It believes itself to be Ted or Fred or you. You are not other than awakeness, but awakeness is not you. And in a sense that is not confined to you. Awakeness is everything and nothing at the same time. When, because when we're talking about nothing, we're not talking about nothing, nothing. We're talking about no thing. And what is it that's neither nothing nor something? That is what we can't come to figure out. There's no reasoning that will that can figure this out. It just happens. But I noticed that it happens very, very often when people are devoted to this teaching. And then the, the th that first thing that needs to happen after awakening has occurred is we need to awaken again. Because we need to be awake right now. And if you've heard about awakening or think you've had an awakening or whatever, you've had an awakening experience, perhaps. I don't doubt that. But an experience is like, you know, something you can wipe off your foot or something you can have and graduate from. This is not that. This has no confines at all. When you think of the universe, which, you know, we are taught as kids, at least, that it's endless. And we think, wow, this is really endless. This, you know, and but we got a little dotted line around it. And then we hear start to hear that, well, there's more than one universe, and that just doesn't make any logical sense. That I mean, where is the logic in that? But you can hear very, very smart scientists will tell us there are multiple universes. There's some that will tell us there's not, probably, but there are bunches that will tell us that there are multiple universes. And that this experiencing is the experiencing of one of them. 
but it's the experiencing of one of them by awakeness, never by a, a so-called individual, because there is no so-called individual. We like the word emptiness, but there's a fullness in the emptiness that I'm talking about. It's the most full emptiness that you could ever expect. If it were, you wouldn't know, it's actually the most full em emptiness that you would never expect. But what it means is that, no, there's nobody home. But in the presence of consciousness, something is here. It may just be consciousness. But I can't really call consciousness nothing. I can see that it's no thing, it's not an object, not an objective thing. But how would I call it nothing? I would have to use consciousness in order to talk it down, in order to deny that I am consciousness. The only thing that can deny being consciousness is consciousness. The only thing that can affirm being consciousness is a consciousness. But when it is confirmed by awakened consciousness, by alert consciousness, that's a whole different thing and that's a whole different experience. And the experience here is nothing like it was 20 years ago, nothing whatsoever. I cannot even fathom. I tell stories about it and people go, oh, that's really, because I got some bang up stories. I really do. But they don't, they're, they're not my stories. I just tell them. They're really stories of, of, the, of about the unit. But the unit is not me. There's no thing that is me because I am not a thing and you are and I are the very same unthing. And we have to unlearn what we have known about, well, ultimately about everything, but we don't have to do it all at once. And it'll just occur. It's not like you've got, you know, now you got your course of study. Your awakening is not even your awakening, just like your understanding or your misunderstanding is never yours because there's no you there. That unit is not living a life, it is being lived. And there is the drama of a life, there is the play of a life, there will be the play of a, 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 a death. Might be very short, like getting hit by a train. Might be prolonged, like... Um, some of the diseases that we can get that just eat away at us. But that can be a good thing too. You get to you, you get to take care of you know things here. As I really like a neat relativity, even though it's an illusion. I like to keep things neat. I live neat other than this immediate area. This immediate area is it's not so bad, really. It's not all that bad. I think the words have quit. I think the words have stopped. So I'm just going to let um, whoever, whatever Louise does with this, you know, I don't know. She may see this and not release it in order to protect me. <laughs> God bless her. God bless you, divinity. This is God blessing God. Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't need to. Really doesn't need to. Just accept the blessing. And don't wonder about, worry about what it is that's accepting the blessing. Don't worry about anything. Everything that's going along just fine. It always is because it can't not. That's the truth of it. Take care, my loves. Really, it's my love, but I'll say my loves.
I'll play the game. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.